Hi guys, are you here with Nartut for Blender? Let me show you how to control sub D mesh with and without hard ops and how to work with booleans in sub D mesh. So first of all, um, there are a few ways of controlling sub D. So let's add sub D, control two. And one way of doing it would be simply to apply increase to it. So if you don't have hard ops, right click and add crease. And if you do ha have hard ops, you just smile and press sharpen. Then you add bevel to it and you're done. Another way of doing it would be just with bevel alone, but it works a little bit differently. So let's add the bevel. And now you see the order um, of modifiers, right? Is messed up. Bevel needs to be above the subdivision for it to work. Now, if I use bevel, you know, everything is peachy. However, if you compare these two, right? So let me move them aside. If you can see that uh, this one is straight this one isn't is slightly curved it's not super curved but it's gently curved so it's not as straight as this one now another way of controlling this would be with another type of bevel okay so it would be a b weight so if i'm going to go to um my hard ops menu switch to b weight and i'm simply going to sharpen these edges which gonna add b weight to them and let's add the bevel first and then switch it to uh, bevel weight and then let's uh, turn on uh, subdivision and you see that a uh, similar effect has been achieved but there is a difference between those two bevels and i'll show you later why and how to use it to your advantage. Last method would be, it is my least favorite for straight edges, but um, this would be with loops. So you simply, you know, select um, these edges and you simply loop them, um, either adding one or two um, loops on each side, yeah? Now that this one's gonna be curved um, the most out of all of them. It, the barreling effect is really strong. You can see this, uh, aliasing on this line, right? It's just not straight. So now the uh, <clears throat> way to use this in practice right here, um, let's just, you know, delete this because then, oops, they annoy me. So uh, the way to use this in practice will be, let's add a sub D level three on this one, actually let's level two, it's gonna be easier to show things. And let's maybe combine these edges because they're gonna cause me grief. And let's mirror this across and apply the mirror. So uh, there we go. And we need to remove these edges because reasons. Uh, so let's dissolve them. Nice. Now let's actually um, try it with bevel, okay? So I'm gonna get bevel to it and I'm going to move this bevel above uh, the sub D. And now I'm going to, you know, um, sort of chamfer it. Now you see that angled bevel, right? It's gonna catch all these um, corners. And that's why I prefer to use, in addition, it's gonna catch all these, right? Bevel is catching them. It's all done by bevel, you see? That's why I prefer to work with B weight when I'm working with uh, this kind of geo. So what I'm gonna do is simply, you know, sharpen it, which will add sharpen edges to um, these edges, but Actually, I don't want to catch this one, so let's let's do it manually. Let's simply add B weight to these edges, right? And then I want to change my bevel from angle to weight. Boom, magic happens. See what I mean? Smooth as baby's bottom. So now that's what I want. But it gets better, okay? It gets better. Now check this out. Let's say I wanted to, um, you know, uh, create some kind of um gentle fall off in here for this one i probably would use simply um loops because now i can have two types of different bevels going on right this is like a gentle ridge and this one which i can still control with my bevel but now let's say i wanted to cut something in this mesh right like a boolean okay the problem is i'm not gonna get any bevels because well it's it's just you know it's a live bull there is a kind of a way around it when you could bevel it but to a point where let me show you so let me recall this uh, cutter and move it above and if i add b weight to um to the bottom edge right and let's add to bo both of them now the bottom part is going to get beveled but the top part will not and that's a problem all right 
Now the way around it to be able to actually bevel um, bevel the um, your booleans, live booleans on a subdit mesh with a bevel going on already, what you can do is go to operations and step. And then when you boolean, magic happens. You got bevel. Of course you're gonna get some hotlining because you know you need to remember you are cutting in subdit mesh. So uh, you need to remember that this mesh is going to get sliced by quads. So you need to move this boolean to a position where it's not going to hotline anything. And then you simply uh, need to adjust your bevel to the size that will not hotline with anything else. right? So let's say something like this. But hey, you got a boolean and you got a bevel. And it's live. Now check this out. If I now... Uh, wanted to adjust um, this bevel, I can do this. But if I press Q, I can adjust this bevel. Now in Vanilla Blender, how you do it is you don't, because you can't. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Buy hard ops and box cutter because life is too short not to enjoy yourself. And you got affiliate links to these add-ons and machine add-ons in the video description. So if you buy through them, you're gonna help me as well which I appreciate. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.